Scientists have developed an energy bar for bees that it can protect them from hunger. So far, there has been a lack of proper artificial karma, which it would meet all the needs of honey bees. Scientists have finally succeeded to create such food. It resembles a bit of energy bars sold in shops and can solve the growing problem of dying bee families with reason for lack of adequate food. Synthetic Karma for Honey Bees is a work researchers from Washington State University and APIX Biosciences NB in Wingene, Belgium. In a publication published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society B, Biological Sciences, scholars described successful trials in which nutrient-deficient colonies, arranged for commercial purpose pollination of crops developed thanks to the feed prepared especially for them. This is the first in its kind, fully synthetic source food for honey bees that could revolutionize efforts for rescue of their colony. Until now, there was a lack of proper, artificial karma, that meets all the needs of the bees. New food can be placed in hikes where workers process and distribute the necessary components nutritional larvae and adult bees and thanks to it these insects will be able to survive winters and periods of flower pollen deficiency. Honey bee colonies can grow old, and even it's gonna die. This is part of the natural cycle of their existence. However, within the course in recent years, Beekeepers from all over the world reported losses, the scale of which it seemed to far beyond the natural life cycles of these colonies so important for our lives. Diseases, parasites may be responsible, pesticides or climate change. Changes in land use, urban expansion, and extreme weather conditions all this negatively affects nutrition honey bees and other poles. Brandon Hopkins of Washington said State University, CEO author of publications. Honey bees are generalists and they do not get all the food from a single source. They need diversity in diet to survive, but it is becoming increasingly difficult for them to find constant shipments of pollen, which they need to keep the colony, he added. Scientists hope new karma will become effective strategy to combat the growing rate of extinctions of bee colonies and protection global food supply dependent on these pollinators. As the researchers admitted, their karma resembles energy bars and contains all the ingredients the nutmimus honey bees need. Until this study was carried out, honey bees were the only livestock that could not be kept on its an artificial feed. Our research shows that in commercial field conditions providing colonies with nutritionally stressed our food to replace pollen results in a significant, measurable change in colony health compared to the current best practices. Our product has the potential to change the way managing honey bees said Patrick Pilkington, CEO APIX Biosciences US. The publication is the result of research and experiments, it lasted over a decade. Scientists have been checking different combinations during this time ingredients of your artificial food on honey bees. They finally found appropriate, in which isofucosterol plays a key role the ingredient natural pollen. Colonies fed food enriched with isofucosterol they survived the whole season without access to pollen while those that didn't have it, they experienced serious problems, including reduced larvae production, paralysis adults, and the collapse of the colony. The new karma also includes a comprehensive blend of other nutrients that bees need its a honey. To confirm the effectiveness of the new food source in territorial conditions, Scientists conducted experiments with colonies subjected to nutritional stress in blueberries and sunflowers. These plants they produce pollen, but, as the researchers admitted, it is known for its poor quality. In the comparison with colonies receiving standard, commercial food, or the colonies that were supposed to deal with themselves, those fed the bar were developing, showing increased survival and colony growth. Some beekeepers no longer pollinators, 
because the colonies they suffer or die, and earnings for pollination do not cover losses, Hopkins explained. Blueberry pollen is not very nutritious for honeybees and they are not good adapted to pollination of these crops. But if they get an additional source food, beekeepers can return to pollination of these fields, because their bees they will have a better chance of surviving, he added.
Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.